Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Arab and New Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of October general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So happy birthday, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. Leave in the comment section below what you guys got planned for your birthday. What do you plan to manifest during this current or upcoming solar return for you guys? You guys know I always read the comments and I always respond. So let me know. Share it with you. you share it with your girl. Um, you guys know my son's birthday is on Halloween. So in the next couple of days. So he, he has some big plans, big 17. So I'm excited for that for him. So... Let me know what you guys got going on, okay? So for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was If This Isn't Love by Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson is a Virgo, so you can be dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. I'm definitely hearing that also somebody has a Virgo um, Venus, okay? You can have Virgo Venus, or you can be dealing with someone who has a Virgo Venus. If you're dealing with someone who has Virgo Venus, this bottom <laughs> card makes a lot of sense, Okay? This person is, their understanding of love is very strongly rooted in stability, financial, okay, domestic stability. That's a big thing for them or you, okay? Here's the thing. When I was thinking about the song, If This Isn't Love, it's like, there's already plans on working and establishing something with someone, okay? This is building, establishing, working together. Back in the deck, you have none other than a major arcana, the emperor. That is a divine counterpart, Aries. So you can be doing Aries. Doesn't have to be. I just feel like overall, for a lot of you all, you're like, this is my person. This is, I could see myself building with someone. But you know what? I was also getting like, regardless of how strong the connection is, you and this person may fight like cats and dogs, you know? But it's like, you know that this is the only person that you would rather be with. This is the one for you, okay? Sword up is yes, sword down is no, okay? The ace swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. I feel like. You just know. So it's mental. You just know that regardless of how much you guys are added with each other. And I don't feel like in a toxic way, it's just kind of like, so I'm getting something with your upbringing, like your traditional values and things like that. It may be at odds. And, and it's like you guys will kind of have like a little bit of bickering here and there. And it's like, regardless of that, this is my person. I can see myself being with this person long term. Okay. Now, if you're completely single, this next person that's coming in, I feel like that's the type of relationship you're going to have with them. It's like, not love, hate. I just feel like this person really knows how to get up under your skin because a sword can do what? Get up under that damn skin, right? They can cut deep with their words or they can say that you cut deep with your words. I'm getting that as well. So let's go ahead and go through that until we get your um, your major arcana, which is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and then we'll get clarifiers. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Wands. Carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. Um, if you're single, you may have felt like, okay, or you may have in your mind, like, I'm going to be single alone forever. I'm going to just carry the weight of the world on my shoulders by myself because he's there alone. That's not the case. That's not going to happen. Right up under here. And you guys watch me change from the top to bottom. What do we have at the back of the deck? The emperor. The empress. This is your person. You're not going to carry the weight of the world on your own. You will not be alone. You, do, you have somebody. This is your person. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, this ten of wands. Also, it could be like from time to time, it could just the relationship with you and this person could feel real heavy. But I feel like you feel like if it's, if it's anybody that I would go through this heaviness with, or you know, trials and tribulations, it would be this individual. Again, if you are single, you have somebody coming in. You got Libra and um, Taurus here with the Emperor, so you could be done with Libra or Taurus, someone where I see Venus, and I see somebody could be coming in, didn't I? You got the Chariot, Cancer, Angie. You got, oh yeah. Some of you guys, you got somebody coming in this sad season, November, December time frame. Coming in, sad season, just wait on it. This is a card of timing with the Temperance. So yeah, absolutely. You got love coming in. Some of y'all may have, if you're currently in a situation, you may have thought about walking away from it, but I feel like your heart is telling you, your heart is telling you like you'll be heartbroken without this person or this person may feel like that about you. So again, we want to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the death card. Bottom of the deck, you have the world card, travel distance for movement, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, your energy. This person's coming towards you. Five pinnacles, lack, loss, venom, being left out in the cold. You felt like the universe forgot about you when it comes to love. They didn't. Okay. So, again, we want the deck. See, it's going to happen soon. You know how? I know. Because we got here already. And look what's right behind you. The lovers. 
this part, she's here physically, he's not, but he's already in her energy. Y'all got somebody coming in. If you're single, you got somebody coming in. And then also, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you just couldn't see yourself without your person, the person that you're currently dealing with. So right in front of you, wow, you have nothing but Major Arcana. And then the Ace of Cups, wow, if this isn't love, that's the name of the song. And that's exactly what this energy is. So there you go. The Will of Fortune, Faded and Destined. You guys are Faded and Destined to be with this individual. And it's going to go to distance. Well, the first card here was the lovers, okay? Again, you had Gemini energy with the lovers. Your energy here with the death card. And then, again, the Will of Fortune. You guys are meant to be together. You're meant to be with this person. You have nothing but major arcana, so this is definite. You, this is your person here. Love indeed. I think somebody also had to get rid of some thought process about this, how love is supposed to be. Um, having this fake concept about what love and romance and relationships look like. Mm -mm. love is, is a feeling love is an energy and I feel like you feel that like deeply with this person but the minor stuff like not feeling like this person is romantic or not feeling like this person um, communicates with you well that's stuff that could be worked on just like the three of pentacles working on something together you know what I'm saying you got the king of pentacles like this is somebody that's very stable for you very financially invested and I'm going to say again I was picking up um, somebody definitely has a Virgo Venus and their love language is providing, you know, providing, protecting. That's, that's you know, I, I really get that. That's part of the deck. And I did say Taurus earlier with the Empress, you got Taurus here. If this isn't love, she's looking right in the direction of him. And then if you go this way, he's looking right in the direction of her. So I, I'm going to say again, you may feel to a degree like this person isn't perfect for you, but there's no such thing. Mm, there's no such thing as your type of perfect. What's perfect to you isn't perfect to me. So I, I will never say there's no such thing as perfect. But um, they may not have been a person that you thought that you wanted to be with, or they didn't have the traits that you thought that you wanted or you desired. But it works out because they're both kings and queens. So they're both very much aligned, you know, a lot of core values. But she's fire, he's earth, which means it's not the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles or the queen of wands and the king of wands, it's like, you, it may feel like it's something off, but it still works. That's just what I'm hearing. Something may be a little off, but it still works. Or you all can make it work. You know what I'm saying? You can make it work. Sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Absolutely. You got Leo here and then right at the top, you have lion here. So someone can have a Leo rising. Or they're saying like it's going to take strength for this connection to work. Not like it's horrible and treacherous, but you have to be strong, of strong character and moral value. Because, some, you know, relationships take work, right? So you have to be strong. And it's going to pay off. This is saying it's going to pay off. Will of Fortune. Fortune is a payout. It's going to pay off. Bottom of the deck, you got three of wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. For some of y'all, you feel like, okay, I can't see myself moving forward with this person. But I just feel like... um. Again, it's, it's like you guys could be at odds with each other about something very specific that kind of is blowing you. Like, it's, it's irritating to you. We start off with the Three of Pentacles of the Year, starting off here with the Three of Wands, or so something with the Three. Someone's life path or personal year number is three. Some of y'all could have been dating this person for three weeks, three months, three years. Um, also, for some of y'all, you will be connecting with a new person when, within the next three weeks or in Sagittarius season on a day that has a three in it. The 3rd, 13th, 23rd, 30th, or the 31st, Okay. I was going to clarify for the lovers. Okay. Hmm. So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the whole entire deck of tarot. Upright and reverse. You may feel like, okay, this is just not going anywhere. Because upright, he moving slow as shit. But in reverse, he's not going anywhere. So some of you all may feel like this just ain't going anywhere. Or it's not going the direction I want it to go in. Because upright, even though he's not moving currently, he's headed in the direction that he's supposed to be going in. And reverse is not. So some of you all may feel like this relationship isn't going anywhere. But I'm going to say again, it does look like this is faded and destined. Like, it, it looks like this is what's supposed to happen here with this person. Five of Cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. Then I say something with a three of Five of Cups. You have three here. You guys may have broken up and had an ending with this individual, but it feels like fate is bringing you guys back together for a second time around because there's a second go round, you know? Yeah, because I said second go round, you got two cups behind them. So I, I don't feel like you, there's somebody reserved for sin or. There's going to be communication between you and this person. Let's get a clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. Universal energies of light and love. Okay. Hmm. So you got the Five of Pentacles. Like lost abandonment being left out in the cold. Look what's in the back. Hangman. So that's what I'm saying. This person has never let you go or you never let them go. Or they were just hanging out trying to wait to see 
when is the best time to reconnect with you. And then also I get that, like I said, some of y'all feel like the universe left you out in the cold. They're out in the cold as far as it goes to love. But here's the thing I always tell you guys. Any card that comes with a major arcana, a major arcana trumps it. So you will not be left out in the cold. Fate and destiny is going to align you with your person. And then I'm going to say again, for some of you all, if you turn your back on someone, they're coming back. You see how he's chasing behind her? Like he's not going to let her go. Him or her. Put it how it fits in your scenario. You do got somebody coming back because they're realizing like, yeah... Okay, I'm getting this also because both of your clarifiers are pinnacles. They, this person may realize that they put too much focus on the monetary life. They didn't put enough focus on the emotional aspects of a connection. And that caused the ending. And I feel like fate and destiny is going to align you guys. So it's going to help this person realize like, it's going to, where we stop right here is going to help this person see. You got that eye there. It's going to help this person see that this, the, they're just thinking in one frame of mind is what's causing burden. That's what's causing lack. And a connection here is what I'm getting. Also, I'm getting something for like around your birthday season. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of you all may walk away from this person because they, it's like they don't. Not to say like you guys are shallow or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But I'm getting like this person didn't even get you anything. And it doesn't have to be something like major. It's just like they didn't even put any thought into it. Like even not even something simple as flowers or something like that. Or you know, it's just something simple. It's like they didn't put any effort into it. Some of you guys may walk away from this person because it just makes you feel like, are you even invested? Pinnacles are investments, right? So it's like, dang, nothing. Now, I can understand if you're going through something financial and you can't afford it, but I don't even get that that's the case. I get this. You just feel like this person isn't invested the way that you are invested in them. For some of y'all, this won't be everybody, but for some of y'all, for others, you may have somebody slide in your DM or slide on you and ask you if they could take you out. For your birthday, I'm getting that as well. Okay? So, Scorpio, Summer Rising, the Venus, and the Visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.